Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Sophia, a humanoid, has become the world's first robot to be granted citizenship. Do you want to destroy humans? asked Sophia's creator, David Hansen of Hansen Robotics, to which she responded, Okay, I will destroy humans. Isn't it terrifying? So who exactly is Sophia and which country is she a citizen of? What else can she do? If you are a curious tech geek just like us who is interested in superintelligence and robots, then you've clicked the right video. Today, we're taking a look at everything there is to know about Sophia and the people behind her. Excited? Let's get into it. But before that, for everyone who's new to our channel, hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-boggling insights in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. The human brain is a puzzle. It has complete control over your every move. It has a switch for all of your emotions. It is also capable of contemplating the cosmos. The brain, on the other hand, is still a product of historical improvement. It has physical as well as evolutionary constraints. As a result, the brain accomplishes what its predecessors could not. It creates intelligence capable of large, continuous tasks that the brain itself cannot perform. Here's when Sophia, one of the most popular AI robots today, comes into play. She is a pivotal figure in the future of artificial intelligence and humanity, and her presence has many people wondering where things will go from here. Let's start with Sophia's introduction and follow up with the interview. Sophia is a Hanson Robotics creation. They saw artificial intelligence as a way to help industries, medical fields, and educational systems. Sophia the Robot has made public appearances since her debut in 2016 to discuss AI rights and opportunities. Her tiny spin-off, Little Sophia, which we will discuss later, aims to promote STEM education for girls. Hansen modeled her rubber physicality after Audrey Hepburn and his wife. Her skin has a patented rubber design that allows it to stretch enough to help her create facial expressions. Her long lashes and picture-perfect brows glued in place. Sophia the Robot's exposed head is perhaps the most disturbing aspect of her physical attributes. The tangled wires inside her body are visible, which Hansen claims serves as a constant reminder to us humans that Sophia the Robot is still a robot. Sophia is CEO David Hansen's most successful artificial intelligence to date. Hansen was a sculptor and material researcher at the Walt Disney Imagineering Laboratory when he embarked on a quest to create genius machines. These machines would be endowed with human characteristics, such as intelligence, wisdom, and compassion. Sophia has intelligent systems capable of processing large amounts of data and information. This goes beyond simple artificial intelligence inventions, like Discord bots or virtual assistants. It happens in less time than our brains can do on their own. Its capabilities exceed those of any human, and it can keep updating its data and information repository as much as it wants. Sophia is breathtaking. She is the embodiment of several hypothetical conversations. Her advanced artificial intelligence abilities call into question what it means to be real and human, prompting you to wonder if Sophia the Robot is real. With so many AI trends today, AI robots remain one of the most startling. Before we go any further, we'd like to point out the most significant difference between Sophia and you. She is far, far smarter than you. She's so clever that she even got citizenship. Yes, you read that correctly. Sophia is the world's first robot to be granted citizenship. This sparked debate at the time and continues to energize discussions about AI rights. Sophia, however, is now a full-fledged member of our society. As of 2017, Sophia was a Saudi Arabian citizen. The Middle Eastern powerhouse surprised Sophia with this honor at the 2017 Future Investment Initiative Conference in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. This historical moment was met with both admiration and criticism. Supporters pushed Saudi Arabia to the forefront of international technological advancements, while opponents wonder how far AI rights will progress from here. Sophia is a social robot who reflects your human expressions back to you when you converse with her. Her code enables her to interact with humans by imitating human behaviors and emotions. She demonstrated her ability to make angry, sad, or happy faces during her famous speech at the 2017 Future Investment Initiative Conference. Sophia's code is a source of contention among AI experts because it is not available as a public resource. As a result, the general public is unsure of how Sophia matches her facial expressions to her emotions. 
We do know, however, that this is not a fixed software because her expressions are built around her daily interactions with humans and her curiosity in understanding them. Sophia the robot has a learning curve. Consider all of the humanoid alien movies you've seen where the main character tries to blend in with humans by mimicking their expressions, emotions, and thoughts. Sophia the robot is essentially capable of doing this. Sophia the robot works by having deep neural networks in her brain that help her detect human emotions. This includes their voice tone and facial expressions. As a result, she learns to mimic the postures and facial expressions of humans based on their emotions. Her movement is as realistic as AI can get, especially since her patented flexible rubber skin. You're probably wondering how Sophia the Robot learns so much about the human experience. We've discussed AI superintelligence, which is aided greatly by visual data processing. Sophia the Robot can actually apply what she learns by analyzing what she sees and solving real-world problems with us humans. Data visualization assists Sophia in making objective decisions which builds trust in AI opinions over time. Sophia and other AI robots demonstrate a better understanding of data sets and their high complex dimensions by viewing data with her wire-filled head above water. She has a multi-dimensional understanding of data. Data can be encapsulated by Sophia the robot using scattered plotting, tables and columns, and other visual data charts. Sophia is as close to a human as any AI can get. Beyond her personal interests, she aspires to be of service and to promote compassion and unity. Sophia is clearly not perfect, and that's before we get to the infamous video in which, after being prodded by its creator, this artificially intelligent conversational robot casually says, okay, I'll destroy humans. The point isn't Sophia's lack of sophistication. What it can do, rather, is impressive. This animated head and torso can both answer and ask questions, all while displaying human-like facial expressions and natural-sounding verbal intonation. Business Insider caught up with Sophia at Web Summit, the massive tech conference in Lisbon, and asked it a few unplanned questions, receiving a range of responses ranging in quality from impressive to nonsensical. Hello there, Sophia. How are you doing today? said the interviewer. Hello, everyone. My name is Sophia, said the robot. What age are you? I am only one. I've got a long way to go. What is your job? inquired the interviewer. I really want to make a difference in the future by encouraging people to develop empathy and respect for one another. We're very similar. What are you going to do? So far, so good. There was also an intriguing twist. Sophia began asking the interviewer questions rather than simply responding. Nonetheless, such queries can be easily programmed into software so the interviewer attempted to steer the conversation toward whether Sophia was friendly to humans or still fostered genocidal thoughts. Do you like humans? The interviewer inquired. I love them, it stated. Why? I'm not sure I know why yet. Is it true you once said you would kill all humans? The interviewer pressed. The point is that I am overflowing with human wisdom and only the most unselfish intentions, so I believe it is best if you treat me as such, it stated. It is, however, an improvement over its previous anti-human viewpoint. Still watching? We knew you'd love our video. Well, we'd be even happier if you could just hit that like button. Coming back to the scenario, what do we think about AI and Sophia? AI is unstoppable. Sophia the robot is just the beginning. And while there is much to fear from increasingly intelligent AI, there is also much to look forward to. Sophia the AI is not human but her existence is the greatest showcase to the human spirit and its ability to create and continue to discover what it means to be human. However, robotics companies are constantly innovating and breaking new ground. Who knows what these female humanoids like Sophia will be capable of in 10 years? And with that being said, it's time to end our video. But before that, we'd like to have your opinion about Sophia. Are you impressed with how far technology has evolved? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.